really need to rotate my dressing diamond? Well, let's take a look at what happens to a dressing diamond if you don't rotate it. What we have up here is a new dressing diamond. Looks sharp, looks good. It's going to dress that wheel and it's going to dress it sharp. Over here, we have a worn dressing diamond. It's not as sharp, but it's not that dull. It looks okay. Over here, we have a dull, flat dressing diamond that wasn't rotated. Now, compare that to a cluster diamond. These are all done on the same scale, all four of these photographs. Now, let's take a look at the relative sizes of the dressing diamond to the relative sizes of the grits in the wheel. Here we have on the same scale a 16 grit, a 46 grit, a 60 grit, a 120 grit, and a 180 grit. So imagine trying to dress a 180 grit wheel with that dull dressing diamond. That'll give you an extremely dull wheel. So the solution is use a cluster diamond and you don't have to rotate it and it'll stay reasonably sharp. Or Rotate your diamond, rotate it frequently to keep it sharp so that you don't get a dull diamond and therefore a dull grinding wheel.